How do you do? We are about to unfold the story of the son of Frankenstein. This one is probably just as bad as his father. Good morning, sir. My son, you have inherited the fortune of the Frankensteins. I trust you will not inherit their fate. By heaven, I think you're a worse fiend than your father. What are you going to do about it? There's a monster of what you know it. Well, we warned you. Like the man said, you've been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute, the podcast that dissects the Universal Film, whatever, yeah. Frankenstein Film Series Minute by Minute. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm Tom Lang. And I'm uh, Bill Evenson. And you join us for Minute 46 of Universal's 1939. <laughs> <laughs> Do we just start Do we over? just sound tired? <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, 40, actually, we're at the halfway point. Almost. Oh, you're right, we're not. 50 is the, yeah, you're right. technically. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, you let me know. I got it, believe me, I got I got it here. And uh, we we get to hear the end of uh, the thing we talked about last week. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, we should say that we're, re- we're recording this the, uh, the day after Good Friday. Yeah. Yeah, which is, uh, we commemorate the day that uh, Jesus asked Pilate to put him up for the night? Is that? Is that I believe so. That's that okay? why it's good. It was a good Friday. It was a good Friday? I, yeah, uh, it was a good Friday. I you, left work early, so that's a good you? Friday. Yeah. You got to leave work early? I didn't get to. I just did. You just did. <laughs> <laughs> So I thought you were going to say we're we're this is the first time well, we've recorded. Well, I was going to yes. Okay. Go ahead, go for it. We are. It's the first time we're recording at Belong Dead was, Studios not North. Belong, oh, Belong Dead Studios North. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say West, but we already well, did Belong Dead Studios West. West is California. Yeah. This is this to is, me. It's West. What oh, it is? But it's actually it's north. north. I like it. This is about as north as we're likely to get. Probably until we do our live show in Toronto. Yeah. Wolf has just said that he he as a man should destroy the monster. I remember him saying. That. Yeah. Yeah. So. It, he picks so it's up, weird. Oh, that's right. He picks, he picks up, up the, a scalpel. He picks up Waldman's old scalpel. Yeah. I wonder if it's the same one. It's gonna. It plays a part in going forward every film. It's become <laughs> canonical. It's, kind of, it's it actually. Says, it says G W on it. It's Gary <laughs> Waldman. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's right. I think that's his. In the original shooting script, that yeah. is his first name. You don't yep. hear it in the film, but God, you know what? You know what just happened to me. This is bad that for this to happen this just early now? on. Just now? Yes. Okay. I just thought of Doc Ivan making artwork of it, and I gotta not do that because then it's gonna color how it, it I talk about it. it. Yes, it does. You know, because so all, any reference to him gets cut because I don't want to temper. I know. His, yeah. Exactly. I don't want to influence exactly. his. So I just uh, thought of. I know I'm gonna see a little G W on there. <laughs> but I won't remember this, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two weeks from now when it's dropped. Yeah, that's yeah, that'll like be long gone. Hey, by the time I upload it to uh, yeah. to the drive, you don't even it's remember gone. that you have a podcast. It's done. It's gone. Is all of this going? Can we start over? <laughs> just, Is this yeah, like the... <laughs> oh dear God. Okay. Um, so uh, we have a, a close up of Igor looking, I don't know, concerned, worried, stoned. I'm not quite sure what You know, I'm glad you mentioned this because um uh, I don't have a lot to say about Igor in the coming like Igor has been such a highlight for us. Right. And yeah, he kind of just takes a back seat. I shouldn't say that. There's actually what am there's I saying? Next a moment week there's a pretty up. great Igor yeah. moment coming up. But um in this one, yeah, it's just another one of those guys. Those random close-ups stuck in. I don't know that he's even reacting to what's going on. They just have him, hey, Bela, stand up against the wall. Okay, now yeah. look surprised. Now look concerned. Now look like you need your Demerol. I'm picturing uh, Roland V. Lee being played by Johnny Depp <laughs> at, like, in Ed Wood's By way style. of Ed Wood, yeah. Now stand against the wall. You know, yeah. I It's can't perfect. It. It's life. It's it, real. <laughs> Lobo would have real life every would, day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I do want to say uh, we were watching the minutes, and and uh, the way Rathbone is holding the scalpel yeah. is funny, and and he doesn't <laughs> look like he's gonna do anything with it. But uh, Jackie said that he's holding it like a Jeopardy buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like, kind of. Uh, Frankenstein sequels for five hundred. There you go. Uh, but as a scientist, I should do everything in my power to bring him back to conscious life. No, that's not true, actually. That's not what a scientist should do. Scientists no. don't just... just ran, they're not just, forced... Just, just fly into this without any Like, sort Dr. Of, Mengele uh, isn't, like, <laughs> the greatest scientist. <laughs> that's not how this works. <laughs> well, I don't know. 
Is it is Mengele the worst? I can't. Um, he was up there. Yeah, Frankenstein was a bad Frank- one, and that's another yeah, bad. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, but it is an example of the hubris that comes from the original novel. So I it love is. that about it. Yeah, that's it, it is it's a as good, close to Mary Shelley as we're going to get going this, forward. Yeah, for a while. Well, and going forward, like you say, it's we're going to see it again and again. Yeah, it's it's a repeated theme. I have to see the monster at its full power. That kind of shit. Yeah, and uh, you know Patrick Knowles does it. Uh, yeah, even uh, Cedric Hardwick. Uh, at some point is the ghost of his father talks him into yeah. making a really bad decision. You know, uh, I knew this was going to come up. I didn't realize it was this this episode was going to be so fucking off the rails. <laughs> you know what I saw in a movie theater a couple of days ago? What would that be? Because I posted about it on Facebook. I, uh, I took Jackie to the Heights and we saw a oh, Jimmy yeah, you Stewart saw, you movie called Rope, Rope yeah, from 1948. That. And my whole life I've known I love Rope. But I haven't watched it in probably 30 years. Yeah. But I've always loved Rope. And then I thought, oh my God, do I love Rope? Do or do I, love- Am I remembering it? Wrong. Do you oh, still I love f- rope? Adore rope. Okay. I really right. love rope. Right. I mean, the thing is, what's great about it is, obviously, everybody. I, mean, I assume everybody knows one of the, the the gimmick of rope is that it's mo- it's basically one all done in one take. Well, but they don't not, have, which is not true. But, but but they don't have enough film to get through the whole there are, movie. There are so, moments. Yeah, there are moments where they'll mask a cut, but when there's a real change, there's an actual hard edit from one angle to another. And every and single time, it is brutally it's obvious. Very jarring. every single time, yeah, like very, to the point where after a while you. In a, a full, but the theater was full. It was, was kind it? of a surprise. Yeah. Uh, every, we were la- we're all laughing about it after a while. Like some yeah. of them are just so bad. Some of them are. But then there's one cut. Four, three fourths of the way through it, all of a sudden there's a cut. And I'm like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, it's a real change. It was a real change. Yeah, to change projectors. Okay. Because back in the day, they didn't have the big platter where the whole film sat on this giant platter and unspooled, so it was a continuous thing. So you don't see the little dot yeah. in the upper uh, right hand corner that Fight Club erroneously calls a cigarette burner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyone in the industry has ever referred to it as well, that, but that's fine. It's a it's a movie. It's like uh, it's like the superviolet ray or yeah, or the cosmic <laughs> the cosmic, the cosmic ray. rays. Yeah, we went there. So here's here's really the thing pizza. that I saw that I was kind of surprised by, and I guess we'll talk about this more in season four. Okay, Cedric Hardwick is elderly. He is old. He's old in and rope. bald and just an old man. And it's only what he calls himself an old man. I think right off the it's, bat, it's He's not like, even ten years after this. It's uh yeah after this yeah and, and we haven't gotten a ghost yet it's it's surprising it was surprising he's, to see how old he is but whatever people get old yeah. it's like it would probably be surprising to see what we looked like in week one of Frankenstein <laughs> yeah, yeah. fresh face <laughs> <Fred and, faced. laughs> yeah exactly full of hope a couple of uh, of young, young uh, yeah. you know naive cockeyed optimists <laughs> Uh, bring him back to conscious life. Yeah, Carlo's eyelids are again fluttering, so he's already he's deep in REM sleep. He's ready to. <laughs> <laughs> Carlo, he's is dreaming about asleep. dreaming about having a cigarette. No doubt. Did, so, did you say the part about bring him back to conscious life so that the world can study his abnormal oh, no, that was my functions? Ne- my next thing because okay. there's a cutaway to Igor, right? And he actually does something. He smiles and looks down at the monster, like, "Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah this is be good. This my is planet be good. is all falling it's into all place. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> everything's coming up, Igor." <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's the title of the episode. All right. Uh, so that all the world could study his abnormal functions. Then he looks up to the heavens, and you know his face is in a spot. And oh, God, it yeah. looks like he's going to go into a song at this point. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> yeah. He really is about to sing a song yeah. about. Yeah. yeah. yeah we should do the Son of Frankenstein the musical. <laughs> I think we could do it. I, I mean, there's could. a lot of music in this movie. There's a lot of so. yeah, and there's a lot of stuff that could be jettisoned to make room for songs. Okay. So, so yeah. you don't think that the block and tackle scene. So that could be. He could be singing. Be I could be like singing a, that whole time. <laughs> the whole time, it's just going to be like, yeah, it's a yeah. musical. But then it all shuts down, and all you hear is that yeah. for thirty-eight minutes. And we could have a song for three, four minutes of him putting uh, Peter to bed. <laughs> okay, well, we haven't got, we got to, yet. We coming up on that pretty quick. Peter quiet. gets Peter. How many songs does Peter get solo? Oh, he gets well. Hello, well, is hello his is the, yeah. Well, that's, hello. That's the, the show. Well, that's the, hello. Closing of Act One. Yeah. Yeah, that's the big finished act. Everybody's one. like, "Well, hello." Well, hello. <laughs> well, hello. 
<laughs> anyway, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> we were supposed to be podcasting. I don't know how well it's working. You know, the um, thing is, uh, Wolf has been doing fine studying the abnormal functions. Without him back to what he calls conscious, conscious life. Conscious life, yeah. He's, he's, he's doing just fine. I don't think that's, you know, his motive. It's more, yeah. you know. Arguably, it, it's easier to study his abnormal functions when, when he's, he's not, laying on when the he's slab. Not, <laughs> when you can prop him up and stick a TV in front of him <laughs> and look at his bullets in his heart. Throwing shit around. <laughs> and fucking ripping. Fucking arms off. Like, yeah, ripping arms <laughs> off a little kid. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's I a bit of an abnormal function. I, I, yeah, that's true. Hey, look at that. He ripped that little kid's arm off. Oh, there's something you don't see every day. I mean, you can't even put him in a big, giant torture chair and, and, and oh, chain his for, arms down. Not You're for a, more than a couple, he's trouble, couple seconds. Yeah, he's, 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 a, he's problematic. He's a, he is. You know, you, he's something that has to be dealt with when he's conscious. <laughs> when he's, when he's not conscious, Wolf can just have I a think blast. Wolf has him right where he wants. Him. I don't yep. know why you'd mess with a good thing. It's yep. like when your dog is constipated. Why mess with that? <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> I don't know. That, 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 I hadn't thought of it in those that's terms. Perfect. Is, 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 that, there is the title of your episode. <laughs> oh, dear God. Uh, that would vindicate my father. Would it, though? Yeah, that clearly that's the vindication that Henry was yeah, looking I'll for. I'll bring back this murderous brute back to life. <laughs> Everybody wants that. <laughs> he's, running through, he's terrorizing the countryside, and Wolf's like, see? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he was right all along. What did I tell? What have I been saying to you people? Henry's just like, oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> That's me slapping my left, head. Hurt, I should have left everything to Ludwig. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it does, you know, sort of support my theory that I came up with a few weeks ago, mm. that Wolf is stupid. <laughs> He's a stupid idiot. Yeah. <laughs> the movie works better on I think if you stories. go with that, yeah. you follow it. Yeah. yeah. And I'll have, honestly, you know, I think I'll have been, more to say about that in coming weeks. Yeah, oh yeah. And I think it would have been better, you know, had he been played like, say, Peter Sellers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really brought out that in the character more than Brad Bone. Ah, shit. Uh, and he could do the voice. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, uh, his name would be in Shrined Among the Immortals. Well, Wolf, don't worry about that. That's already been taken care of. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's sweet. It's already immortalized. Well, I was going to say it's a bit of hyperbole, but I suppose you're right. It His is. father's it's name is... is... Well, Henry. Hen people don't even know Henry, actually, today. No. There's like eight people that know that. Yeah. There's a guy running around Canada with a T-shirt on that says Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. He knows he about it. He knows about it. You and I, Dino. Dino. Buzzkey. Even Gilbert's gone. So we're losing. Yeah, we're losing. Know who that yeah. is. Uh, oh, poor, Gilbert. Uh, that was. It didn't seem real. I kept waiting for a punchline. Yeah, you think? You no, know, I was like Andy he's Kaufman. Pulling on Andy Kaufman. Yeah. He and Andy are off somewhere. Yeah. God, did you see Gilbert in January tweeted a picture of himself with Louis Anderson and, and, Bob, and Bob Saget? I have it. Yeah, it's uh, yeah it's dropping like flies. Thank the really yeah, the, offensive the takeaway, people. Yeah, the takeaway. Yeah, because Louis Anderson was really offensive. Nah, probably not. But Bob Saget. Bob Saget was. was yeah, yeah, piece of work. Um, I, I mean that in a good way. I like. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, I like say. that kind of thing. Yeah. No, I, was, I don't. Going to say that funny. He's great in the Aristocats because. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. True. Uh, the uh, his father's name would be enshrined among the immortals. So this is. Um, and I think this, by this, this movie, point it already is. I mean, you mean in in in, in the, within the story? Well, sure, but not the way he intends. I think he's yeah in a bad. Way. Exonerate. Yeah, he's going the exonerate route. I got news for you, Wolf. That's never going to happen. I don't think. No. Okay. Do you? I'm thinking about what happens going forward, and he just sort of becomes less and less important. So yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? At one point, he's played by Cedric Hardwick. That's how bad. <laughs> That's it how gets. bad it gets. <laughs> <laughs> the guy from well, Rope. They should, uh, you know, they should do the special edition. Paul Lucas and uh, oh, CGI Colin Clive into that. Uh, you know, you can work on that. I would still want to stick uh, Lugosi in uh, the house movies. Oh, you instead of Gertie? you got to put his face and voice in there. So here's a question that. I was thinking of, not pertaining to this minute in particular, but this film. It occurred to me, Roland V. Lee went out of his way to be an asshole to the Universal Brass, keeping Lugosi on, costing them money. He immediately after this, went into production on uh, Tower of London. Lugosi's nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. So if he was such an advocate for Lugosi, why wasn't he carried over? There's this role for him in there point. somewhere. Yeah, I got nothing for you, except that... Uh, well, I, I, <laughs> the way I, I guess I think of it is that um, 
What's happening? Did you see that? No. Oh. She's been laying. <laughs> <laughs> um, at least she's quiet. Yeah. Um, for, for those of you listening at home, my dog is laying outside the doors to uh, Belong Dead Studios North, looking yep. longingly in. But if I let her in, it would sound like someone was typing because her nails yeah, would click on the close. floor. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Throw, you threw me, but I can really... bring it back. Okay. You, you spend your, your, your capital basically right he's he's he spent that Lugosi he did what he could for Lugosi and now he's got to have he's got to look out for himself at that you know he's only so much you can do well no, I, 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 I realize that but yeah. I mean there was a there's a small role he could have put him in not through the entire production maybe they told him look that was not cool dude well Universal was never a, a Lugosi fan in never? any in in any iteration Lemley's weren't you know Junior didn't care for him uh, they only hired him for Dracula because he made it clear he'd work for just about nothing <laughs> <laughs> you know, when he got like a, a tenth of what uh, David Manners got for Dracula. Yeah. He just made it known he would work cheap, yeah. desperate to do it. And then uh, I know they weren't thrilled with his performance in Murders in the Room Morgue. Uh, I can't imagine. So they, yeah, I'm not either. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess I actually like it, but... Oh, it's just a little... I mean, the not, film, yeah, the not, film itself is... It's not a good performance. Yeah, yeah. it's a nutty... Yeah. It's just goofy. Um, it is one of those ones where it's a bad movie, and it's good. You know, the best thing about it is watching him. I think. Oh yeah, it's yeah. like those monogram and PRC, yeah, yeah. like uh, yeah. like the Devil Bat that I gave you there. I haven't seen the Devil Bat in so long. I don't even remember. Uh, I just got the Blu-ray for whatever reason. Oh, because Kino Lorber had a big sale. You know, it was like ten bucks. So what the hell? And I'm looking at it. I don't even remember. Maybe I've never seen the Devil Bat. There's a pretty good commentary on on the Blu-ray. Oh, really? Yeah, not not on there. Oh, that's okay. cheap. That was like five bucks new. All right. You know, public domain. So what else you got there? Village of the Damned. The the Carpenter version. Oh, that's the John Carpenter movie. Yeah. Yeah, I should... Uh, oh, okay. I don't even know if I've seen that. I don't think I've seen it. Pretty good, you know. Oh, that's I, the uh, one with Christopher Reeve. Yeah. And Kirstie Alley. So God, my new glasses romantic, are terrible. Romantic. I can't see anything far or near. Well, then you I've lost need... all the ability to see anything whatsoever. Well, then maybe you need to... Go your, back go and back have Go back and say, hey, this isn't so. working. I think i got to work on that. Yeah. All right, um, so the Immortals. The thing I like about so, this... So, like Mengele... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what it shows is that... Uh, it shows what his true motivation is. It's funny because we've spent so long getting to this point. Because yeah. of because of where the cut was between weeks, we right. started talking about last week. As a man, I should murder him or whatever he says. I should destroy him. And I should destroy him. And then, as a scientist, I really gotta bring him yeah, back. Like, juice him up so we can, you know, study his abnormal functions. Or so who can study? So so the world, the world can, can study, study his abnormal functions. Well, that's also bullshit. For people in Calcutta really want to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, the, uh, I was going to say the North Pole, but oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's, kind that's, of, uh, that's kind of a Frankenstein y place. Right? It is. That's, it, that's it kind of where this is all headed, ultimately. Ultimately, if this they'd all... made Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein 2, yeah. or uh, <laughs> Bud Abbott, Luke Costello, Costello meet Frankenstein, Frankenstein two. 2, part 2. They would have ended at the North Pole. They would have ended at the North Pole. That's where we're That's where it's all headed. All this, yeah, as a scientist and abnormal functions. Crap! That's not. It's, it's, it's all he's about. A, he's just stroking his own ego and stroking his father's ego. Yeah, and, and, and he's yeah. a pale imitation. He's a pale. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a pretty sorry not, substitute. Yeah. Uh, so then he he pulls a, a Adam West. And, Benson, turn on the generator to the Batmobile. Yeah. Throw. Yeah. He throws down the uh, the scalpel. The scalpel. And uh, actually, uh, I guess this is. Do you, do you want to? Hmm. If I've already sent you this, then just say, oh, you already sent me this. We don't need to watch this stupid okay. thing. So we have a video. Can you make oh, it big? This? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, so this is the different... It has to have sound. Click the little soundy thing in the lower right. I'm not going to work again. Oh, I did the wrong clip. Ah, fucking A. The wrong one? Yeah, hold on. So what we're looking at, for those of you playing along at home, is a comparison between the U.S. DVD and the U.S. Blu-ray. Um, yeah, it's uh, something we'll, that we should, we've should we maybe been remiss in not mentioning before now. Don't bother with the German Blu-ray. <laughs> oh, yes. It doesn't right. have we anything made, that's not already on the U.S. Big, Blu-ray. We made a big deal about it. I think it. this is it. There we go. That's it? Yeah, okay. play it with sound. I got it. Yeah, we'll start it over. No, you don't have to. Yeah, we're gonna anyway. So watch his he turns to the right in the old version. See that? It's yeah, a different yeah, it's take. It's a different take. 
Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Pretty lame, no, but... But it is a different take of that It is shot. interesting yeah. to me that they use a different take. It's just bizarre. It's, yeah. What's also weird is I left the sound from both on mm -hmm. because it's almost exactly the same. It's pretty, yeah. yeah I mean, he it's really like, is reading it. It's it, the same it, reading it, every if time. If you tweaked it just a second one way or the other, yeah. it would be right on. Yes, I could probably have made it, yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, well, in coming weeks, there's another there's, one that we can talk there, about. I know there was a um, few different alternate takes used for some reason. Yeah, it's just bizarre. Um, uh, um, and one one isn't any better than the other, I don't think. No, they seem like the same. Yeah, that's true. You know, There's other, no artistic choice being not made. Not really, because uh, the only difference really is in the U.S. DVD, which is from the uh, the original U.S. release print, I believe. He does look off to his right briefly. Briefly. Which he doesn't do in the British or... In the Blue long Blue extended Blue edition. Blue. Yeah. The German the Peter, extended Peter, edition. Peter Jackson's uh, oh. son of Frank. <laughs> Peter <laughs> Jackson's. Okay, so he throws down the uh, scalpel. Yep. Dramatically, and yes. says, "Oh yes, he does." Benson, turn on turn the, the generator. generator. What I love about it is he he goes. Then Benson goes and runs over and starts turning on the generator, and uh, and uh, <laughs> Wolf starts hooking up the jumper cables yeah. onto the monster. Yeah. And so, in my mind, it's like Benson, turn on the generator, but not until I'm done. Yeah, turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> yeah, he flips one of those uh, knife switches, I believe they're called. Okay. You know, that you see, uh, no self-respecting mad scientist lab would be without one. Oh, I see what you mean. You know, the, the one, the big, big one the big, where he big goes, one where he, yeah, that's called a knife switch. Okay. I believe so. Uh, okay. I, I didn't really bother. We can bother. call it that from now on. It okay. doesn't matter to me one way or the other. All right. I didn't bother to look it up, but I think that's what oh, it's God. called. Now we got to look it up. Nope. It's just gotten complicated. Nope. Then he swings, a, swings another switch that kind of goes And I love the right. way he does it because he's Benson. So he does it sort of dainty. Like yeah, yeah. He's got a pinky up. Yeah, no, he doesn't yeah, have no. a pinky up. But <laughs> you can imagine he yeah. might. You know what I mean? The way he does and it. It's kind of cool because there's all these little sensors that as the, the yes. lever passes them, each one sparks. Yeah, like... Um, well, it reminds me of that that thing that didn't work so well in Bride, where the I'm trying to describe it without using my hands because it's an audio podcast. The, oh, okay. You know what I'm talking about with the heartbeat. It's oh yeah, along yeah. With well, the heartbeat, a, but it doesn't quite. We had a, t a name for that device, and of course, I can't remember oh, what really? it is. Yeah. This is a uh, it's a change for me. Uh, the first two movies we had lightning, mm -hmm. lightning, and uh, now uh, it's like it's he a, ran a you know turn on the generator like he ran a you know extension a, cord from the house. You know what I mean? He, he's got a craftsman out back. Yeah, fired it's, up. Just, it's just <laughs> Igor. Yeah, Igor, pull the pull the cord. Yeah. So then we get, you know, sparks and everything. and some Wheels turn round. Wheels turn round. Electric like, lightnings come out. Yes, he's, yeah. he's not wrong. Yeah, i got to say, the uh, strict fadden gear in this minute is actually pretty good. It's, well, there's uh, a one round thing with the sparks kind of go around the clock. I actually kind of said, <laughs> just a few weeks ago, I said that he, when he said that in the council chamber, yeah. that he was, uh, miss, you know, talking about the other movies but no that does no, happen it does happen movie, so. wheels go around in sparks they, we, that's they're absolutely just, right they're just not as visually interesting um, well it's the background that really changes yeah, it's just it a sparks. flat background like, for one thing yeah it's like someone looked at the first two films and said well that's the point is the gear and mm -hmm. get Strick Fadden get him on the phone as long as he can deliver a truckload of shit we should be but, fine but there's really not that much and then someone much. says like what's in the background it's it's, it's Ed Wood it's just a, it's like a, get a sheet a, maybe <laughs> make sure you smooth it out so we can't yeah, see, so the see the wrinkles this time. and that's it that's the thing but I okay so you say it's not as much that's true but it's like still a, a lot and it's really good I, I think what's, what's that's here the key is, to what's me. here is good it's just not as visually striking and as elaborate all, as it was uh, I mean those were set pieces right in each film certainly in Bright it was the climax Mm -hmm. You know, they were so vertical and so theatrical and almost operatic. Yep, that's and, true. And this is is kind of prosaic in comparison. It suffers by comparison. Yeah. But it's still kind of cool the way it is. Oh, there's there's a really cool... If you hadn't seen the first Oh, yeah. Film, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah really it neat. Look great. at that. Um, there's smoke and yeah. sparks. And... Oh, there's, there's a nice shot of a big arc coming off the end of the cosmic diffuser. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's hitting, but it just kind of goes off screen. Who knows how that shit works? Yeah, I don't know. Strict Fadden's getting juiced up. Uh, and once camera. again, Boris Karloff is it's laying down right on a the slab middle of hoping it. for yeah. the best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll just close well, these all big really, eyes. They all seem really dangerously close to this stuff throughout. Yes. Well, I have more, more to yeah, say about I, that I, tomorrow, think, or tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yep, we're doing tune it in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. <laughs> we're doing a special Saturday <laughs> of it edition. Uh, this is the first time that they clamp something onto the electrodes. They have yeah. Little, like you call them uh, jumper cables or yeah, they look like alligator clamps or whatever they go. are. 
first first time I recall seeing anything stuck to them. Yeah, uh, they certainly weren't in Frankenstein that we saw. Anyway. Um, I could have sworn didn't that guy have a ring and like the, the electricity came oh, no, out no, of his that's, ring? That's later. Oh, that on. hasn't happened that's yet. Later on, yeah. I always get those mixed up. Yeah, I know it's easy to do. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. That's a really good point. Um, and there's actually a nice touch is that there's smoke rising from them. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Carlo, I was going to say more about his, that next week Carlo, because I don't know if we actually see that in this. You see a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Uh, it's just starting to. Karloff got his smoke in anyway. So. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> Maybe they just stuck one of his cigarettes right. I wonder if he, yeah, hide it, hide it right back there. <laughs> he just between takes. Uh, Boris, if you have to have a lit cigarette in your hand at all times, can you just move it and <laughs> put it behind your head? There's a, a few publicity stills from Dracula. Uh, Lugosi standing in front of the big door to the castle and with his you, cigar. A cigar is like propped on a. Oh, I have, have seen, you that. seen that. Yeah, it's like yeah. propped just off behind him on a bolt or something. Or well, I was hinge. thinking, yeah, I was thinking like on a brick wall a or whatever. Or something, or something, but yeah. It's very visible. Oh, that's right. It's on the edge. Of, it might be on a hinge. It's by the door, I yeah. think. But it's very, yeah, notable when you see it. And once you know it's there. But yeah. it's also not uh, smoldering. Like that's the thing about a cigar. If you set it down after a little bit, it'll just, it'll go, just out. go out. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's all I got. Igor, Igor brings his hand up in a weird position. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know. He brings his right arm up, and it's sort of in this claw-like... Almost like Bela Lugosi does all the time. I was just going to say, <laughs> like, just you can't thing. have a Lugosi movie go by where he doesn't do something weird with his hands. And here we are. Here's your moment, Lugosi fans. Enjoy it. I mean, of course, it always does make one think of uh, Martin... Uh, what the fuck is his name? Sheen? <laughs> For Christ's sake. Or says he. Who played Lugosi in Ed Wood? Oh, Martin Landau. Martin Landau. God. <laughs> I never remember that name. Yeah, what he does with his hands while they're watching TV. Is, they're watching, is it Elvira? You're watching White Zombie. Or not Elvira. It's no, Vampira. Not, they? Vampira. They're watching right. White Zombie on Vampira. That's right. Would that have really happened? Could have been. I mean, is that the right she, timing? She was, yeah. Well, I guess it is because she, yeah, yeah they. Because okay. then later That's on, they, they got her into uh, mm -hmm. Plan 9. Relu right. Reluctantly, apparently. Okay. Uh, she didn't want to do it. I can't imagine why. Big opportunity <laughs> for her. <laughs> Big screen debut. <laughs> <laughs> I think she had done some other acting, not as Vampira. She pops up here and there. Her IMDb is more interesting than I think. Uh, I don't know about that, yeah, but uh, that. The Magic Sword, uh, they showed it on MST3K. She's, She's in that? that? Yeah. Good for her. All right, got anything else? I think um, that about wraps her up. You know, just want to thank everybody for voting. Yeah. Because that's all done now. We, we don't know the outcome yet. Well, we you know, rightfully hope that the sentimental vote yeah, went the right so. way. I think so, yeah. I got to hope that's how that turned that out. Actually feel bad winning this year. No, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't go. No, I would either. No. <laughs> I mean, it was great uh, talking to him and all, but fuck the him. Fuck He's him, enough man. of those. He, what he, yeah, what do you need with another one? I'm going to need another one. It's just his kids got to deal with it. Yeah, exactly. What the hell is this What thing? is this junk? You, you know <laughs> yeah. it's already in the garbage. <laughs> it's on Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the entire episode out, if you wouldn't mind.